Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel and to Hot Rod Power Tour. It's gonna be the last day of the tour and we're gonna be going to Indianapolis. I think Lucas Oil Raceway Park is what the place is called. So that's where we'll be headed. Looks like we did get a little bit of rain last night, but my little cups, they, I guess, did the job. So let's just get this thing warming up and then we'll meet up with Jay and start heading that way. So we've met up with Jay. We got to park next to this really cool blazer here. A little bit bigger than my truck, taller was at least. But uh, yeah, just drinking lots of coffee. It's gonna be about a three hour and 12 minute drive. Like I was saying, it is gonna be, I'm pretty positive, just like interstate stuff again. So kind of unfortunate, but that's what we're gonna do. But it'll be good today because we can get down there and start heading home after that. So let's get to rolling. Why won't this dang TV change channels? <laughs> couldn't imagine this being my daily commute every single day. I'm so glad I live out in the country. <laughs>
right, so we stopped at this little fuel station here. Jay's getting fuel. I just got fuel. We're rolling down the road. I think this is Lewisburg. I think we're still in Ohio, but trip's going great. Truck's doing great. Looks like Jay's doing awesome. He's got an LS in that, and I think a 4L60. So he's cruising at a lot faster rate than me. He's having to wait on me. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, man, we're really rolling on today. The roads have been a little rough, but that's about the only complaint I got. So we're going to stretch our legs, take a pee, and hit the road.
concrete truck spent a heck of a lot of rocks and concrete out. Guess it's a good thing I haven't replaced that windshield just yet. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we made it. I guess we're gonna go get our last punch and hopefully our long hauler plaque. But Jay, myself, and Jackson, we all made it here. collection for the first power tour I guess I did say first because I think I'm probably addicted to this all right so I guess that's officially the end of our 2024 hot rod power tour Jay and I we have a, about um, I think a ride around three hour cruise we're gonna be going down through we're gonna actually opt to take the old 231 snake through some old towns and whatnot so you're more than welcome to sit in here and hang out with us because I'm sure there's going to be some pretty fun little roads and some cool scenery.
like it. Good old back roads. cool this is about i don't know two and a half hours north of us and i've never drove these roads and it's gorgeous up here just doesn't even feel like it's indiana to me so yeah i'm glad we decided to ditch uh, the interstate hop on these back roads and just kind of enjoy a nice day home i don't know how much farther we got but we're rolling I think Jay said something about even going to a Mexican restaurant, so that'll be pretty sweet to me. <laughs> Jay gave me a little watermelon. Jackson just told me I wasn't recording the first time, so <laughs> there's always that. Done that a couple times today. Yeah, We're just on the side of the road, chilling. Alrighty, back on the road. We got a double shot of driving today.
closer. I can almost feel my bed. I'm ready for it. Just got off the phone with Hillary. Uh, I guess they're gonna go get some pizza somewhere, so I told her if they do, I might meet them. But man, that there's nothing like your own bed whenever you're on a long road trip like this. All right, so I guess we're parting way with Jay. And Mr. Jackson, hey man, don't cry again. You're gonna get me down again. What? <laughs> it's been See real though. It has, man. It's been a great. We'll ride. definitely have to do it again. Oh yeah, looking forward to next year. Heck yeah, get it on the calendar.
about to go over a hill, so let's see what we got. Woo! Oh my. How's that for an ending right there? I mean, it, at least I'm about home, right? But still, in the same sense. Man. I could literally, I'll show you. So right there is my dad's house. And through those woods about a half a mile is my place. So this thing gave up literally a mile from home. <laughs> oh, I guess we gotta change the coil. <laughs> All right. So, just got a hold of Daddy-O. He's gonna come down here and get me. Um, I did forget that it takes that special little screwdriver tool that Brent has. And I don't, I'll have to go to the shop real quick to get something to get back in there. Because I don't have anything in my truck. I didn't even think about that. So, good thing I'm right here by the shop, I guess, right? Man, that's why I say you don't have to stage any drama or anything like that for automotive stuff. It just writes itself, so. Yeah. Good thing is, though, I'm in the shade. Can't beat that. Got a cold beer in the cooler that's probably about to get acquired. So, yeah. Life's good. We'll get her fixed and get her home, hopefully. Oh my. How'd you make it? I think all together is about 1,500 miles. At least I got to see you guys now. Thank you. You can smell it underneath here like the electrical. You're getting pretty good at this though. I was saying, I'm just glad it didn't happen, you know. Up in Indy. In Indy, or mm -hmm. heck, even in Jasper. Even on 231. Yeah. Because I didn't have that. Brent has this little screwdriver set that I use to get to these back ones because, see, that won't reach. So I've got this little bit. I'm going to stick that in here. It. When y'all go to Scales Lake? We're going tomorrow. We're going to stay Saturday and Sunday. There you go. Ouch! Goodness, you okay? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lake. It's hot. Swim. 
This thing's just overheating. The MSD box is getting the coil too hot. We put that dielectric grease all over it. And... Yeah, I don't know. I thought that dielectric grease was supposed to solve all, but it did not, unfortunately. So. It is crazy. It don't make any sense. I know. Says it's got a high kilowatt kilovolt rating. Hardy har har. Apparently it's not high enough. Yeah, apparently not. Yeah. Brent and I seen like we were gonna check voltage on the coil itself and it said not to do that because it's such high voltage coming from that MSD, so Alright, gonna give her a shot, and see if that picks it. If not, we're gonna get the tractor and pull it. <laughs> <laughs> it might have something to do with it. I didn't hook any of the wires up. Yeah, that might have something to do with it. It's been a long day. That's right, don't go out in the road yet. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Get it'd watered be, up right here. Day. It wouldn't be very much longer for me. The grand finale, huh? Mm-hmm. Couldn't be that easy. <laughs> well, at least you're about half a mile or a mile from home. That's what I guess. All right. There you go. There you go. For real, this time. All right, had a great week with you guys. Appreciate you sticking in here. This one's probably gonna be a long one, but daughter and wife coming up here. You've seen the doggos already out here. So everybody's welcoming me home. So I'm gonna go hang out with them. If you're not subscribed already, consider it. It's free, it's for you, you should do it. But long week, glad I did it, but I'm glad it's over now. Until next year, see ya.